Guys, the theme parks are open. I'm so excited what you need to bring when you come out to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Check it out. Familia, welcome to my other blog. It's been a while. We've been in quarantine here. Uh, so yeah, it's been a long day. I was at Universal all day. Uh, it was the first day opened. It was opened up for annual pass holders. It was pretty good. Had a good time, went by myself, left the girls here. A lot of things that I've learned, man. A lot of things, man. Just coming in in the parking lot. Uh, obviously, they give us a reservation so we can get there at a certain time. And that was just kind of to control the flow of things, like the flow of people coming into the park. They were trying to minimize the big crowds. So, you know, you would make a reservation, you know, at eight, nine, 10, and 11. You know, that's just kind of like staggering that up. So that way people don't show up at the same time. Um, they did have a limit. The limit was at 13,000 people. You can go in and out, but once you go out, you're not guaranteed to go back in. Finally in after this quarantine. It'll be exciting to come here and enjoy a couple of rides. The staff, the team members were very happy to see their annual pass holders that day. Seeing the roller coasters go up and down, up and down, seeing the characters, you know, I went through Dr. Seuss land. I didn't even expect to see some other characters. I got to see the Grinch, you know, and Grinch is one of my favorite ones. And you know, he was out there in the Florida heat. And uh, you know, we kept our social distancing, but it was just fun to see those characters out there and just kind of feel like, you know, you know, like Florida, you know, we are big fans of these theme parks and we want to see them back open and we want to see the crowds out there. Do you have any reservations to like to ride the rides? For, uh, for the ones that have the virtual pass, yes. How do we find out which ones have? Um, you can actually go onto the app. You got to have that app and you got to have your phone with you because you order food on your phone. You can pay for merchandise on your phone. You gotta make reservations for the rides on your phones. It's called what they call the virtual pass. And you can see on some of the rides, if they have a time on it, you're able to just show up and ride it. But if it does not have a time, you gotta go on the app and reserve a time for you to go into the ride. Kind of show you around what to expect when you're out here at Universal. The new normal, you know? But it's very exciting to be back. It's great, you know, if you live in Orlando, you, you really adore these theme parks, so. of adventure and now I'm gonna head out to uh, Universal Studios let's see what's going on over there uh, it was pretty exciting I didn't get to ride any rides but you know it's the first day what are you gonna do just kind of be patient and uh, enjoy at least enjoy the walk getting out of the house you guys can see right here it used to always be crowded always you can never take a picture by yourself now look at it it's all empty mask pretty neat they sell them there at the gift shop so if you need one they'll sell you one so now we're gonna head out to Universal Studios see what's going on over there it does get packed a lot of people were having trouble downloading the app the app wasn't working you know but it was the first day you know it's kind of like baby steps most of the parades are not gonna be happening. They did have some of the floats coming in and out, one at a time. I did get to see two of them, one from Minions and one from uh, Dora the Explorer. So that was pretty good. The capacity is very low, but you still gotta wait in line because, uh, you know, the social distancing. So when you come out here, you gotta be very patient because it's baby steps right now. And you know, you gotta take it easy. You can't be like crowding up the whole place up. 
So, you know, hopefully phase two will be more exciting because it's gonna be at 75%. You gotta wear a mask and uh, it does get hot wearing uh, these masks, but they got these uh, areas where you can come out and take it off and kind of breathe for a little bit. But uh, it's, just, it's just, I'm just so glad to see the parks open again and come out here on the weekends and enjoy it with my family. So hopefully you can too. And I just felt like it was my first time out there at the theme park, man. It was great. It was great to be out there at the parks. It felt a little bit normal after being stuck at home for a while, you know? But let me tell you, man, it was, it was very exciting. I mean, I love Universal. I love the theme parks. It was just very exciting to be out there. You know, it's just like, you know, it's just that Florida thing. You know, you got the beaches, you know, you got your theme parks, you got Disney, you got Universal. And Universal is one of the biggest theme parks here. And I just, you know, I just loved it. It was very exciting. Let's keep exploring and see uh, the new rules of here at Universal. Um, this is great. Not a lot of people. I think it's the best time to come, actually. Most of the rides didn't have a lot of wait time. Uh, the ones that did have wait time, it required a reservation through the virtual pass. Uh, those were pretty much booked. Yeah, they were pretty much booked. One of the advantages of staying in the Universal hotels, you get to go in an hour early. That gives you an advantage to book those virtual passes, which is very cool. So, you know, something to keep in mind. So if you ever, you know, if, if you come to visit, you're planning your vacation to come out here to Universal, try to stay in property because you're able to go in an hour earlier. Fantastic being there. It was just like, wow. You know, after being locked up for a while, it was just fun to be out there at the park. Believe me. Anyways, had a good time. It was great. I'm going back this weekend again. I hope to see you out there. And thank you for joining me on my adventure. And we'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.